And so one of the things, if you notice in the stadium, they have a very strong aesthetic about how it should look, and it's very nice in there. And so as they were putting in the Wi-Fi, they put in a world-class Wi-Fi experience, where they were able to put antennas was not allowing them to get really great uh, experience in the last few rows right at the field level. And so they had you know, shown their the, uh, folks who run the stadium all the different antennas they could put in and everything, and you know, nothing looked nice enough to go in. And what really are the most expensive seats right around the, the floor of the stadium. So they came to us and said, help, we've, we don't know where to go with this. Um, we went on site and for a couple of days and actually took our equipment and um, did some testing to see what we might be able to do. Um, actually got a set of the seats. So this is some of the seats you, you probably were sitting in. And um, our objective was to be able to put together a Wi-Fi uh, element that could be very um, aesthetically pleasing, but also get the coverage that and the uh, experience that we were trying to do. So we had a, um, within about a week of going on site, we were able to come up with a prototype and took it back out and did some more testing and checking with that. We then um, did another spin on that one, um, sent it out, and they were doing some of the actual engineering tests. Originally started off, it wasn't going to be waterproof, um, then quickly realized, well, they, you know, take out the 5,000 PSI cleaners and clean the floor, better be waterproof. So we had to do another redesign on the, the solution to make it waterproof. And it ultimately worked it down to um, a solution that we did on our 3D printer. So this is the, the mock-up that we had done on the 3D printer. And within the course of about six weeks, we actually went through all the design phases, all the engineering testing, and uh, actually six different variations and uh, came up with a solution that was ultimately approved by the stadium folks to install in the stadium. And we did it in a, then had the plastics molded. So the actual injection molded plastic, this is what we did on our 3D printer, and this is what actually came out of the injection molding machine. Um, we found somebody who could do this in two weeks, which is actually quite fast. Um, and then they produced the, the models that had actually been installed. And so we were, the deadline was to try to get this done in time for the playoffs. So that's actually, we were able to accomplish that. So this gets installed under the seats right there. So as you can see, it's a very, um, it looks very attractive. It fits all, meets all the design requirements we were trying to do. And I think some over 200 and something of them got installed on the, the around the lower 10 levels of seats uh, in time and commission for the yeah. So this is an example of even from an internal perspective solving a problem for, for uh, AT&T. Okay.